Welcome to the sixth and final video in our series uh, of the Spaghetti Junction game. Um, this will feature obviously games 11 and 12. And uh, the championship is really, really hotting up now. We've, we've had Belfast pegged back to, I think, is it, we'll have a look at the league table in a minute, but I believe off the top of my head it's five points um, f ahead of Sheffield. Um, but we'll get that league table up in a second. Let's have a look at it. There it is. Uh, no, they're five points ahead of Liverpool. Uh, Sheffield are some a couple of points further back. Uh, so this puts Belfast in a very powerful position going into the last couple of games, uh, despite their hiccup in game 10. Um, all they have to do is make sure that... Uh, one of their nearest rivals, Liverpool Sheffield, do not win the bonus points. Um, limited options as how they will go about that, but here we go. Uh, Leeds to kick off from the four o'clock position, and away they go in round one. Uh, Belfast have gone after Liverpool there. That's a tactic designed to sabotage Liverpool's attempts to win the bonus points because they are a near rival. They will catch up with them in game two. And then uh, they will be, uh, be as disruptive as possible. Uh, so game two, uh, round two, sorry, is underway. And what Belfast have actually seemed to do in round two is double back towards Belfast. Now that is a helping hand for. London, who are diametrically opposite. They're building road for London to try and make sure that no, neither of their nearest rivals win the bonus points. That's a brilliant move from Belfast, and it may well work. London are on their way down now. You can see the dark green truck. Keep your eye on that. It's heading down towards Belfast. If it wins, uh, that puts Belfast in a very difficult position. Uh, sorry, a very powerful position. And Newcastle have pinched it. <laughs> All eyes are on London, but Newcastle have come in ahead. There's a provisional league table there. See what that does. It puts Newcastle provisionally into second place before the rest of the results uh, are scored up for the rest of the game. Um, so the game now progresses. Uh, Newcastle have taken the bonus points for the third time. That's uh, a complete steal there. Uh, doesn't necessarily put them in a winning position in the championship, but it certainly brings them up. That uh, brilliant for them. Now, as the game progresses, I'm beginning to sense a problem for Birmingham and Cardiff. We're going to stop this in a moment to have a look at what has happened to them. They, it all looks relatively uh, normal, but they have not managed to get a single truck into a line north of Newcastle and Birmingham. Um, now, that's a big problem for them. Uh, we're going to slow it down here. Take a good look. There's not a single Birmingham or Cardiff truck north of that line. Uh, now, I can see what they might do. We're going to flag up a route. Here we are. This is, this is what's happened. This is where they are. This is the, the the routes that they have available to them at the moment. Nothing north of that Birmingham Newcastle line, centre center line in the board. Uh, now, if they can, on the right hand extremity where the red and green line routes loops round, there's a bridge under which there is a slip road, in which case the whole board opens up to them. Now, they've got to make sure that they get to that slip road. If they don't, really it's almost game over. Their options become exceptionally limited. Uh, and they haven't got to it. I think Belfast have pinched it. Uh, they've taken off in a different route. 
In taking that route over towards Leeds, Belfast have also snarled up a Liverpool truck. So uh, they've they've done the dirty on Liverpool there. Now, look at this loop, this green and red loop at the bottom here. This is what Birmingham and Cardiff need. Their last chance to escape uh, a disaster in this game, quite frankly. They need that, but they are not first to move. Leeds are first to move. Uh, Bristol here have... Uh, Trucks heading towards uh, Sheffield. They've got one in London. They've got three trucks heading for th two destinations. They will want to turn that route back that is now headed by Liverpool. Uh, same will apply for uh, some of the other teams. Yeah, London have got exactly the same situation. They've got uh, uh, one in Leeds, one heading to Sheffield, and three trucks heading for two destinations. Leeds, identical. Um, these are the first to move, of course, um, <clears throat> in the next round. So they will be after that slip road uh, that Cardiff and Birmingham desperately need. Sheffield in exactly the same position. All those trucks uh, heading towards this direction now in that whopping crew, uh, queue that loops around. Uh, so um, Birmingham's and Cardiff's escape from this disaster is not guaranteed. No, no, the road has been pinched. So Cardiff have moved on in this direction and I think they're gonna be pulled over. There's nothing they can do now. They are heading for last place, whatever they do. They've got, they're in all sorts of bad positions here. So Cardiff and Birmingham are out of it, except where they um, uh, have trucks behind them, they will be allowed to move on where they haven't they will um, be stopped. So the game now progresses without Cardiff and Birmingham and um, things are getting very tight. Uh, 10 points for a number of teams, 10 trucks home. Um, in fact, it's getting towards a stage where virtually everybody else is getting 10 trucks or at least nine. Um, Liverpool are out of it. They've got a truck pulled over on the right as discussed. And it's all coming down now. The, the trucks that are still moving towards Bristol have been, been waved through uh, by adjudication because, uh, so that the other trucks are going to form a queue for London. Uh, so there we are. We're on London and Belfast are on 11. Now the road buildings recommence for the next round. Leeds are uh, on the top right. Uh, we've got two directions heading for London and Glasgow have pinched it coming up to Leapfrog with two trucks home simultaneously. Um, Cardiff have got one last truck in at the bottom of the board there. They've uh, stolen 11th place from Birmingham. Um, Manchester got a truck in at the last moment. Liverpool right behind them didn't make it. Uh, that's at the top of the board. Um, so here we are. That This is the situation at close of play. Um, Glasgow with two trucks home. At the, oh, I see. Uh, a, an appeal has been lodged by Birmingham, Liverpool and Cardiff to try and get back to that slip road, but they were still staring at last place. Their, their, their adjudication will overrule that for sure. Um, they've got trucks, uh, for example, there, there and there who really weren't going very far. So that's the result. Uh, 12 points for Glasgow, having leapfrogged the teams on 11 trucks. Um, Birmingham, uh, Cardiff stole 11th place from Birmingham, uh, from a joint 11th place, shall I say. Uh, so here comes the league table now. We'll see how that works with Newcastle taking the bonus points for the third time, but it leaves Belfast with a seven point gap over Sheffield. Uh, so pretty much game over. Belfast look as though they've got this, uh, but we shall move on to the next game and we shall have a look at uh, what the other teams have to do to win this championship too. Now, where it says that Liverpool and Bristol must respectively win five more and ten more, it means than Belfast. Uh, this is an outlandish, freakish result, and it's virtually a thousand to one that that couldn't possibly happen. Anyway, but we shall move on to uh, the game, and uh, game 12 is about to commence any second now. You don't really need to see the teams. Here we go. 
So Sheffield are getting us underway from the five o'clock position uh, in the salmon pink there and Birmingham have immediately decided they're going to team up with uh, Bristol and Cardiff. The one thing they can't afford is another shambles like in the last game and uh, going for Bristol's um, usual efficiency uh, as much as anything else. Um, so game round two is underway now and a Again, uh, yep, Belfast have built straight back towards Belfast to help London uh, try and win the bonus points. Uh, and that will keep it out of the hands of their nearest rivals. They do not want Sheffield, they do not want Liverpool, they do not want Newcastle, they do not want Bristol, they do not want Glasgow winning the bonus points, but anyone else will do, and the influence that they can have is to try and get London to win it. And uh, London are snaking up towards the top of the board now. Uh, several trucks have gone in ahead of them into Belfast, taking the use of uh, making use of that road. Yep, London got the bonus points there. Um, here we have a little look at the status quo here. Uh, Belfast will be really happy with that. Cardiff, you'll see, were only three places behind. Again, that would not have perturbed uh, Belfast in the slightest if, if Cardiff had won them. Uh, so London got the bonus points. We're underway again, carrying on moving. Everything getting clogged up in the middle there. Usual status for round three. Everything is very, very tight. Uh, not many trucks left in bases now. I think uh, Glasgow have got a couple still there. Manchester have got a few. Liverpool have got a few. Belfast have got three left, maybe. Now watching to see the other teams get out. Liverpool and Manchester are coming out but they still got one left each in base. Uh, Belfast and Glasgow are completely out at the moment so that's uh, good for them. It should be remembered that Belfast have only to get 11 trucks to base to claim the title. They will have then um, at least 11 points as a as a joint second place or as a second place uh, if they win it of course they get 12 that puts them in an unassailable position the uh, leaderboard is up edinburgh are on seven uh points uh seven trucks home already uh waiting to see how that evolves now london sheffield and london are coming in down here at the bottom into london um Sheffield are on eight. They've got their um. They're leading a convoy. They're obviously outside. Well, second in line for the championship, but it looks a little bit unlikely for them. Sheffield are on ten now. Cardiff are on ten. Bristol ten. Edinburgh ten. Keep an eye on that Belfast score. It's coming up. Um, they're on nine now. So they only need two more to confirm themselves as champions. Um, we're going to see what. Yeah, Sheffield have got this queue, that a long queue that's snaking round uh, behind them over on the right of centre there. Um, so they're desperately trying to stall Belfast from winning. Um, Belfast have got to get to Newcastle, so the one thing that Sheffield don't want is to uh, drop them into Newcastle. Now, we're going to have a look at this because Birmingham, Cardiff and Bristol are in the middle there and they need to get down here if they, they and they can only do that by combining all their 18 road spaces collectively. Uh, that's the only way they'll get out of that situation now. That will annoy that, that bunch there but as uh, in the last game they don't owe them any favours at all. Uh, so they could or they could go that way but Bristol are already in. Birmingham are already in in Bristol to be honest Bristol are already in Cardiff so we'll see what they do when they start off yep they've come down and they've smashed their way stolen the slip road uh, it's forced Liverpool to go towards uh, Cardiff uh, taking everybody with them that means that Belfast had to go the long way around uh, doubling back on themselves into Bristol so they've got themselves into um, Bristol as well and that means that they are confirmed as champions. Now Manchester are a little bit 
out on a limb here. They've got to get to London, Bristol, Edinburgh and Glasgow. Liverpool in an identical position, except that Manchester have got that one that's stuck on the plinth at the top there. Liverpool are all in queues, which gives them a bit of an advantage. Uh, that one is stranded just there. Uh, Birmingham here, we've got this one who's desperate for another round of road building. He is one space away from completing into Cardiff. Uh, and the other one is in a queue. Leeds have got to get to Bristol and they're right over there by Newcastle. Bristol have got to get to, um, where's that? That is Birmingham. Edinburgh have got to get to Bristol. Um, what have we got? Belfast have got to get to Newcastle and Sheffield have deliberately turned them away. Glasgow the same. Uh, they've been turned back into the middle. Uh, Cardiff have got to get to Cardiff, funnily enough. London have got to get to Cardiff. Uh, who else can we see? It's a straight race. Uh, Sheffield have got to get to Cardiff and Newcastle have got to get to Bristol. So they're all in the wrong place now. It's a straight race now between all these teams to get there. And Belfast, I think, have found a quicker route uh, than Sheffield. So they're going to turn out at the same place first. They've gained a lot of spaces. They're going to stop Belf uh, Sheffield's uh, convoy in its tracks. Belfast now... The diaspora has taken place. They're all racing to get to those particular destinations. Uh, Manchester and Liverpool are herring up to Scotland now into Edinburgh and Glasgow before the game is called. We're not too sure who's in pole position now. Everybody racing to get to those destinations. And I think we're looking at a Bristol win. It's coming now into Birmingham. Uh, they have the shortest route, not really a windy route. They've won it. Yes, brilliantly done. So here's the result. Uh, Bristol win. Uh, Belfast highly creditable second place despite Sheffield's attempts to keep them from getting to their final destination. Um, perfectly legitimate but Belfast still managed the second place uh, and, and a creditable 11 points and that confirmed them as champions um, with Sheffield relentless pursuit uh, not quite being good enough. And we see that Birmingham and Liverpool's form has fallen off a cliff. Um, steaming along so nicely earlier on. And now we're going to have a look at the game results. Uh, you don't need me to tell you which were the colours of the teams. You will know these by now. But you'll see that um, Belfast's only uh, problem was in game 10, otherwise very creditable throughout. Uh, Sheffield chased them down. This is the, the way the championship progressed. Uh, the curse of second place afflicted teams like Edinburgh, Glasgow and Newcastle. You see how Birmingham's form just dropped off that cliff there. And Liverpool uh, died off in the last couple of games and ended 10th. So there we are. That's the end of that. And I hope you'll take a look at uh, History as News and England Football as Drawn.